Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We are just 15 minutes south of Edmonton on the QE2 here in, uh, in Leduc, showing off the uh, Grand Design product. We're a little dealership, but uh, we are full line Grand Design here. And uh, I'm excited to be able to shoot a video on one of the newest arrivals to our dealership. This is a 2021 Grand Design RV Solitude S Class 3540 GK. Say that fast three times. Now, um, the 3540 GK, folks, is a somewhat of a redesign. Um, this particular model, I was a bit disappointed a few years back uh, because they used to build a layout very similar to this. A little bit longer, it was over 40 feet, and uh, called the 384 GK. And that 384 GK was our number two best seller. They redesigned it, called it the 385 GK, and they eliminated what you would have with the bedroom bathroom, which is a, was a big disappointment, uh, I'll be honest. And, you know, pushing back, giving lots of feedback back to Grand Design, Rob Groover, the product manager for the Solitude product, very receptive, uh, most often, great guy. And uh, basically pushed hard to try to get the 384 GK back in production, but we asked if they could build it in an S class to get the price point down. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, with this particular floor plan, folks, they've brought that really nice bedroom bathroom back in the 3540 GK. They've got it under 40 feet. This particular trailer's 38 feet, three inches in length, and it is all solitude. So what's really cool about the solitude S-Class, folks, in comparison to what you might see. Now, one of the really nice things about the 3540 GK, folks, is the size of the storage compartments. Abs or storage compartment, absolutely huge, okay? The opening of this baggage door from this side here to this side is six feet. I can stretch my arms out, my fingers aren't even touching in between, and I'm at like 5'11". So you've got six feet of opening on each side of the trailer, which is absolutely fantastic. The other thing that you get with the S-Class, which is the same as what you would get with the regular Solitude, is the Lippert Z-rated drop frame chassis, okay? And so what that does is it gives you taller storage in your pass-through storage compartment. When you look at a Grand Design trailer, folks, the way that they've designed this, they give you an unbelievable amount of height in their, in their storage compartments because of this Lippert Z-rated uh, chassis. So with a lot of products, you've got your, it'll go in about six to eight inches, it'll go up over top of your frame rail and across, which would reduce the amount of height you have in. The reflection would be one of those trailers and they do that for weight for more three quarter ton towing. Um, but again, this is absolutely huge. The other thing that makes this compartment gigantic is the fact that the trailer is eight and a half feet wide, 101 inches wide, uh, which is really nice. And I'm just gonna show you underneath that drop frame portion there. Okay, so that's a double stacked I-beam. Uh, your one rail is going to be 12 inches uh, high and then the other one is going to be uh, 10 inches high and that's double stacked, welded together. And that is absolutely thick, like very, very rigid structure. Uh, Grand Design's doing it right. I'll just show you the underbelly here since I'm shooting down there. Uh, the other thing, folks, you have an R30 all the way through your floor on this particular product. Um, and your furnace is what's gonna provide the heat for the underbelly, which forces off your 35,000 BTU furnace. Is, there's a dedicated heat duct that will blow heat down into that holding tank cavity. Uh, but they also put thermostatically controlled 12 volt heat blankets on the tanks as well. One of the things that Grand Design goes the extra step on is you see where that screw is going into that piece of extruded aluminum right there, that strip, that's what this is right here. Okay, that's called their rail tight design, okay? A lot of products in the industry, what they'll do is that screw right there goes through a washer. And then what happens is you get gaps where the coroplast enclosure goes from screw to screw, okay? Grand Design secures it far better with this rail tight design to keep the heat in uh, for those that, that colder weather camping, keeping the moisture out when you're towing it in, you know, rainy, watery conditions, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, they're going the extra step from that side of it. Okay, wherever you have plumbing running through the outside of this, they also spray foam around all those openings as well. All right, um, back on the storage compartment here in terms of heat, this is a fully heated compartment as well, folks. So you'll see that heat plenum right there. There's a heat duct in it. 
What's really nice about that for, I mean, I'm talking a lot about winter style or colder weather camping because that's important to us, us Canadians up here in the north. Um, this particular compartment, it's so big, but what happens is when you're pumping heat down into here, it's just creating another great big air buffer between you on the inside of the cabin of the trailer and the outside of the trailer. So this becomes a really nice pocket of, of warm air when it's colder out as well. But one thing to note, Grand Design, unlike other products in the industry, and I encourage you to look around, maybe not all products, but some, um, with Grand Design, and I'm sitting right in this compartment now, they run an actual dedicated heat duct, okay? We've seen some products, and I'm not gonna name names, but what they'll do to travel the heat through the, the heat plenum is they just run a sheet of aluminum and they literally will staple it in between, you know, to the aluminum tube here. They'll staple it, just boom, boom, run a bunch of staples and they use between the, 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 the joists and the floor, uh, the framing in the floor for the heat to travel. Okay, why you don't want that is because typically you've got some sort of a wood surface in there and propane heat has moisture, okay? So you wanna keep that away from that product um, and, and get that air flowing. What, and the other thing what will happen is when you've got staples in closing uh, your heat plenum here um, on other products, is what will happen is we've seen it where those staples will start to work their, themselves out and then you get gaps in your heat duct and then you're not getting full efficiency in your heat uh, getting pumped up into the cabin of the trailer. Okay, so with Grand Design, they've properly secured it. It's in its own dedicated heat duct and this compartment's heated. And then the strapping they use to hold up the heat duct is all welded on, okay? We've seen it where manufacturers are running literally plastic straps. And you know, those plastic straps, steel screw, it comes out or what have you. So just be aware, you'll, uh, an outdoor storage compartment on a trailer will tell a lot of tales, okay? The other thing, thicker gauge alloy on a Grand Design trailer, folks. There's more aluminum tubes. I encourage you to count the welding. Some manufacturers screw all their aluminum framing together versus welding. So buyer beware. I just give the comparison so that you know, when you're spending you know, upwards of $100,000 on a fifth wheel, I'd rather you be educated when you go out to have a look. It's not to run down the other products. It's just to give you the comparison to have you look Right? We've seen a lot of horror stories over the years where people invest a lot of money in an RV and they don't necessarily get the return in value because it just doesn't hold up, okay? Um, the other thing in this pass-through storage compartment, folks, is that there's a, a conduit um, that runs from this compartment to the roof up, up outside. So if you wanna hook up a satellite dish and run the wiring down, it helps greatly reduce the, you know, the cost of the, uh, the labor to get that done, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, spent enough time on that. Of course, enclosed utility center, um, the gate valves, or not, uh, gate valves to drain your holding tanks are all up inside the heated area. Uh, the low point drains again, just true to form for solitude up inside the heated area as well. And then you get the uh, Nautilus P1 utility center, which is, you know, first class. This is where you bypass your hot water heater. This is where you can do your uh, run off your fresh water tank or city water connection. Uh, this is where you do your winterizing, you suck in your antifreeze, you've got your outside shower, there's a water pump switch here. It's all color coded, uh, really nice easy to read diagrams, super slick, and then you've got your black tank flush as well. So Grand Design doing it right from that side. The other thing is there's a little switch here, I'll turn that on, and that will activate the blue lighting on the bottom part of your slide. Grand Design has done this blue lighting on the Solitude since day one. Uh, when they first built their, their first solitude. What's really nice about that is, you know, at night, if you need to come around this side of your trailer, your slide's fully extended. Um, it just helps give you a little extra light so you're not smashing your head off the bottom of the slide out, which is good. So, really nice barn style doors uh, to enclose your pass through storage. So, and this is a monstrous storage compartment, absolutely huge. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, hot water heater, 10 gallon hot water heater, it's gas and electric. Uh, if you're plugged in, you can save some propane by running the electricity on it. And then you've got with gas and electric on at the same time. I'm, forgive me, I think you're probably gonna be in that 16 to 20 gallon per hour recovery rate. And then you've got your 35,000 BTU furnace as well, okay? One of the things with the S-Class folks is that you do have an automatic leveling system. It's a six point 
electric leveling system. There's no hydraulics on this trailer. That's one of the differences between an S-Class and the, uh, the regular Solitude. Regular Solitude has six-point hydraulic leveling system. This is a six-point electric leveling system. So just one of the differences. Um, at the back of the trailer, of course, as we come around here, one thing to note, Grand Design ladders on the backs of all of their trailers. This is a fully laminated product in terms of every vertical wall being laminated, okay? Grand Design's been that way since day one. Um, they were the very first manufacturer to offer up a three-year structural warranty. Okay, the difference, a lot of products, a lot of manufacturers, or some manufacturers have now come out with a three-year structural warranty. The difference is, is that when Grand Design came out with their three-year structural warranty, they built the product to support their three-year structural warranty. No RV manufacturer, they wanna pay as little as they possibly can in warranty claims, okay? Rather than denying warranty claims, Grand Design builds a better product so that they don't have to get as many warranty claims in. Okay, some of the other products in the industry, folks, is they do have that three-year structural warranty, but a lot of times is that they didn't change how they built their product, so you're just paying more money uh, for that, for that three-year structural warranty. They charge you for it anyway. Um, and then again, at the back here, folks, you do get the, uh, the hitch to a, with two-inch receiver, the eyelets. It's a 3,000-pound hitch, 300-pound rating, flat four wiring, and then as you head up towards the top of the wall there, um, I'm losing the sight on my camera right there. Underneath that middle marker light right there is where you get your pre prep for your rear vision camera can go. So you can purchase that rear vision camera right in our parts department, uh, which is really good. So um, again, that full lamination with Grand Design folks, every vertical wall panel is laminated. Every wall panel has, is, the windows are framed in with an aluminum tube. Anytime you see you've got an exterior fastener going into the wall here, that aluminum tube that's laminated in that wall has a wood dowel stuffed in it. So that steel screw is properly supported. If a manufacturer doesn't stuff that aluminum tube with a wood dowel, that steel screw over time will wear that hole bigger and that's where sealant lets go. That's where corner moldings start to pull away. Your trailer can develop, you know, squeaks and rattles and you know, those sorts of things. So really important to have that. Um, the running gear on this folks is upgraded this year. They did do a major change. Uh, one thing to note is they went to a 17 and a half inch Cooper H rated tire. It's a true trailer tire. Okay. So what's nice about a true trailer tire is it's designed so that when you're backing up and you need to jackknife, the tires don't bind nearly as much. And why you want to try to eliminate the tire binding is what can happen if you get too much of a jackknife and too much tire bind, if your trailer's too heavy or what have you, you can actually bend your shackle hangers. We've seen it, which is what, what your suspension attaches to on the frame of the trailer. We've seen it where on lighter weight trailers where you can bend an axle, uh, those sorts of things. So with Grand Design, they're really putting a solid tire on this, which is really, really good. Like we're looking at this, this trailer's almost almost 14,000 pounds and that tire's barely squatting down, uh, which is really nice. 17 and a half inch, you got the bigger brakes, you got the nicer, bigger rims uh, paired in with that uh, Dexter axle, which gives you a five year warranty, but they do have the more ride suspension CRE 3000 suspension system. Don't get this confused. There are other products in the industry that are made overseas that are painted blue um, that are not Moride. Moride North American made very, very high quality, you know, quality standards and Grand Design's putting that on the, the Solitude Reflection as well as the Momentum products now. So very clean underbellies of the, sl of the, of the slide outs, really smooth. They're not running any Darko fabric on those moving parts where, you know, a lot of products are still using that Darko. When that slide out's moving in and out, if it's got Darko over time, that friction will actually wear and expose the wood floor your slide out. Uh, you know, possibly opening up for moisture intrusion. So Grand Design's just not putting that there. They're putting a, a finish on the outside that is not dark hole that can't open up. Um, so they're just putting a little bit better product on that way. So um, stepping back here, of course, at the entry step here, they do do the rise above step, which is nice. Uh, you don't have a step hanging underneath the trailer, collecting dirt and debris as you're, you know, towing your trailer down the highway. It folds in and out really nice and easy. Uh, which is nice. The legs are fully adjustable. It's super solid. Um, one of the co uh, complaints with this step though is, is that when you are camping, um, you can, you know, if you get your step dirty, depending on where you're camping, you're going to want to wash your step off before you put it in. 
okay? Now, one of the things that Grand Design has done to help with that is they've put a spray port on the solitude right beside every entry door. Okay, so that coil hose that you saw on the other side there when I was showing you the utility center, that's what plugs in right there. You can simply spray off your step, wipe it down, fold it back up inside the trailer without bringing up all that dirt and debris inside, which is, which is nice. So, wider entry doors, all magnetically, you know, held open, which is nice. Lend a hand, grab handle, okay shoot in on the three-year structural warranty sticker thump here that's you know tied in with that lamination folks which is nice grand design the the slide box that they build uh super rigid uh, but the roof of the slide out up here is laminated that roof panel is laminated insulated aluminum framed just like the sidewall is like you can walk on every slide out that grand design builds they're that strong which is nice not all manufacturers can say that so um Again, Solitude 3540GK-R. This one's a little different. The dash R stands for residential. I'll show you when we jump inside. But you do have that WeatherTech Arctic insulation package. Like I mentioned, uh, top down, you have an R40 through your roof, down your front cap. Your sidewalls on the Solitude, folks, whether you're regular Solitude or S-Class, are a two and a quarter inch sidewall, which gives you an R11. And then on the regular uh, solitude, your R45 through the floor. On the S-Class, your R30, which is what you, you know, similar to what you would get with a reflection. Uh, so super, super good R values. And then again, those heat blankets on the tanks, the ducted furnace, all of those things that'll blow heat down into that area. Uh, we'll just shoot in on that pass-through storage compartment again. It's absolutely gigantic. There's that satellite sticker showing that satellite roof access channel I was talking about. Look at all those aluminum tubes, very, very strong. So, another little shot there. All right, we're gonna head to the back of the trailer. I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna jump up on the roof and show you some of the detail up top, just a moment. All right, friends, we are up on the roof of the this, this Solitude 3540GK. And uh, first thing, I'm gonna jump down on the top of the slide out just to prove that this is a walk-on slide box. And this is a wide open slide out, like it's not supported with, you know, walls built into the slide out or anything like that. Um, it is a hollow slide on the inside and that's just a testament to, um, to how strong the slide box is. Why is this important? Well, when you go camping, especially up here in Canada, if you're in a heavily wooded area, which everybody wants to head out into the forest to, you know, go camping because it's beautiful there, you'll get little pine needles, you'll get, you know, leaves with sap, you'll get little branches falling on the tops of your slide outs. And you wanna be able to get up on your roof to sweep off the tops of your slide outs before you bring them in because you don't wanna have all that stuff piling into your slide seals when you retract your slide outs. So one thing, walk on roof on all their products, which is very important, and those slide uh, walk on slide boxes, which is really nice. Now, I'm at the back of the trailer here. So this is your living room air conditioner. This is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, Coleman mock air conditioner as well. Um, they don't use off brands, it's Coleman brand name, most efficient air compressor on the market. It's tied in with a racetrack ductwork. So if you were to look at the racetrack ductwork from above, it's almost like a NASCAR racetrack. And the way it's designed is that the air conditioner pushes the air conditioner out of like the AC out, but it circulates it back through the AC really recirculating that air around, which helps make it more efficient. The other thing is where your ductwork is inside the trailer, there's actually little uh, bevels that will literally push the AC down into the cabin of the trailer, uh, which really helps with the efficiency of it. So super, super good. Uh, skylight above your kitchen island in the, in the S-Class, which is nice. You do get the max fan um, on all of their products in the fifth wheels. Uh, and that does have a rain sensor on it, so if it gets wet, that lid will close. Again, like I mentioned earlier, I optioned in the off-grid package, which would have that 300-watt solar panel, which you're seeing now, paired in with that 2,000-watt Magnum pure sine wave inverter. The power produced um, is very clean power. It's just this, like the same power you'd get at your house, so it's not hard on your electrical appliances and those sorts of things. Just in front of the solar panel here, folks, that little white disc right there, that is called an attic vent, and they'll put them in various locations. Some of the floor plans have one, some have two, but with Grand Design, they're putting the same roof construction on all of their trailers. 
every single trailer that Grand Design produces has an attic vent. So if you're in a super hot climate, the heat, the sun beating down on the outside of your trailer, it helps your trailer breathe, okay? Helps that heat escape, making the inside of your trailer that much more efficient. And like I mentioned, you've got that R40, which is that really good thermal barrier between you know, the outside and you on the inside, uh, which is really good. Um, you know, houses, they're all vented through the soffits and everything in a house. You've got your attic. You know, they do that to allow the heat to escape, um, making your house more efficient. And that's what you get with a Grand Design trailer. We have an Imagine right across from us here. That, see that little white disc there on the roof? Same thing, attic vent. They're not deviating uh, construction techniques for price or weight. You know, they're putting the best possible roof they can on all of their products, which is really, really nice. Um, colder climates as well. Uh, this particular roof, thermal barrier, not, you know, you've got that super good R value, but every 16 inch on center, you have a wood truss with a wood decking. And then they've got the, the Alpha Superflex TPO roof membrane bonded to that wood decking. Okay. That wood decking, you know, great thermal barrier. It doesn't, it's not going to conduct heat back down inside the trailer like a laminated trailer would with you know aluminum uh, rafters and those sorts of things okay um, and uh, that's what you get on the roof now just in front of the the uh, attic vent here that's the porthole access uh, sea chow or conduit for uh, if you wanted to attach a satellite dish to the outside of the trailer that's where you'd run that wiring down they're making it super efficient for you another skylight above your shower um, your TV antenna is the uh, Air 360 uh, Plus on this, folks. That TV antenna is a digital omnidirectional TV uh, antenna, so it's all relative. You know, the, the signal that you'll get uh, is all relative to where you're camping. You know, if you're in the middle of the mountains with lots of trees around, you might not get the signal that you would when you're closer to a major city like, like Edmonton. Like, we'll get four to five digitally high-definition channels right here at the dealership. The other thing that you can get with the WineGuard system is you can get the gateway device. The gateway device is an add-on feature that will allow you to turn that TV antenna into a basically a Wi-Fi uh, booster. So you can suck in a Wi-Fi signal from a campground. If you're visiting friends, you know, you can stream through a Wi-Fi, uh, you know, on your Roku TVs, you know, your Netflix, your YouTube, your Prime Video, whatever your favorite channels are. You know, if you're getting into June heading out camping and you're able to connect to Wi-Fi, you can watch, you know, playoff hockey, all of those things. Um, but the other part of the, about the gateway is if you can't connect to a Wi-Fi and you've got a really good cell phone plan, you can have that hooked up to stream through your cell phone to do all the same stuff. So um, really nice. Uh, up front here, you do have, again, another Coleman mock air conditioner. In your bedroom on the uh, S-Class is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner, whereas on the regular Solitude, you've got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. So not a huge difference, but uh, one of the differences to get that price down. Um, right up front here, you've got the front cap, again, fully painted. They just load the sealant on. Okay. Go on the extra step, top of that slide box full walk on. So um, I'm going to head to the back. I'm going to jump down and we're going to rip inside. So just one sec. All right. We're going to head up inside this trailer. Now, one thing to talk about um, for people is a really important feature for a lot of customers is the ability to be able to access the refrigerator uh, when the slide outs are fully retracted. And in this model, you can. Um, when the slide outs are fully in, you can hit your refrigerator. It will cover up your pantry, um, but you can hit your bathroom as well. It's right up, right up those steps there. So, uh, you know, if you're traveling from here to Kelowna on a great big holiday and you want to run in and grab a beverage from your fridge or load your fridge after being at the grocery store or just simply hit your bathroom, um, you can do it in this trailer. So, uh, and then the other nice thing is, is that being that this is an electric coach in terms of the slide outs are all electric um, and the leveling system's electric, is that um, you've got individual switches for all the slides. So with a hydraulic system, you've got one switch typically for both living room slides. You can isolate them uh, if you want to turn them off. Of course, this product doesn't have it. The regular Solitude does, but typically you've got to move both slide outs um, out fully um, with the hydraulic. Uh, whereas this one's all individual switches. So now in the, in the model number, we've got 3540GK. GK, you see it on a lot of the Grand Designs, stands for Grand Kitchen. And Grand Kitchen, when you look at it, you can tell a Grand Kitchen model, GK, because the kitchen island is gigantic. 
okay? Like we're talking, this is like at least a six foot long uh, kitchen island. So uh, this does have a newer interior on it as well. You can see uh, just the, the, the squareness of the, the kitchen countertop, very modern contemporary design, really beautiful. It's got the linear wainscoting underneath giving it a really nice high-end look. Of course, it's got the upgraded faucet, fully adjustable power sprayer on that as well. And then, you know, right above is that skylight with those beautiful lights hanging down, pendant lighting. So this has gone through an overhaul, which is nice. The cabinetry used to be more of a brown color. This has got some really nice gray tones to it, but uh, it's kind of a nice balance, I find, between it being a more modern contemporary look, but still with a classic touch to it. Um, so I think they've absolutely nailed it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, 3540 GK Grand Kitchen dash R for residential. So with this particular model, this has a residential refrigerator in it as well, um, which really helps again with the solar and inverter and those sorts of things. But the hair refrigerator that they put in here is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is, I'm going to say 18 cubic feet at least. So really nice. There's no vents on the outside of the trailer. Uh, we're seeing more and more of the RVs go fully electric with the refrigerator, whether it being a 12 volt or a 110 and somewhat a product of COVID a little bit too with a condenser shortage on a lot of those gas absorption fridges. Uh, but this particular one um, has the residential fridge, which is really, really nice and super efficient as well. Uh, right over here, you've got a really nice pantry as well. There's a light in there so you can pack a lot of food with you and then you've got your nice hutch as well so tile inlay in the back drawers storage and then storage above so um, DNA item with Grand Design folks you hear me talk about it on most of the videos no heat ducts in the floor that was from day one you know when Grand Design started their company they went and toured campgrounds talked to RV owners and they wanted to get feedback they wanted to learn what people liked about their RVs what they didn't like and one of the major things that they heard from customers was that they hated having heat ducts on the floors because your typical trailer, the way they produce it, uh, and they can produce it a lot quicker this way, is by cutting a groove in the middle of your floor uh, for that heat plenum to run down. Remember, they're running, in a lot of cases, the heat, the heat through two joists in the floor uh, and then stapling that enclosure up between those uh, on the backside of that stud work, okay? Um, which we know the, the, the disadvantages to that. Um, but with Grand Design floor underneath this vinyl decking, folks, is it's a one-piece floor. There is no seams in this floor whatsoever. It, they haul it in on great big trucks. So the beautiful thing with the Grand Design trailer, folks, is this, the floor is super, super strong. Okay, you're not going to develop squeaks over time because things aren't loosening up. It's not a, there's not seams in the floor so that those, you know, the binding of the trailer, you know, starts to develop, you know, popping and squeaking and those sorts of things. Um, but what Grand Design does for their heat is they poured it through, like, for example, on this one in the living area through the kitchen island. Okay, and it blows out across the floor. So they're not going to be dirt traps. They're not going to hold dog hair, dog food, dirt, debris, all those sorts of things. Um, I have to laugh because still trailers produced, they'll put a heat duct on the floor right in front of your tray, right in front of your couch, like right here. So when you're sitting there, if you've got a couple people sitting there, your feet are on it. Or when you've got your nice trifold, you know, queen size bed folded out and you've got guests and, you know, people sleeping on that and you have to run your furnace, all of that heat is going to be billowing up underneath that, that bed. Okay. With a Grand Design trailer, you don't have to worry about baking your guests. Uh, which is which is really nice so lots of benefits to a grand design built trailer uh, in terms of just their floor so uh, again new for the 2021s folks is the fact that there is no carpet on that main floor slide so all vinyl very easy to sweep out that's another thing heat ducts on the floor you got to sweep around them usually dirt's your your sweeping dirt down into them so but again, vinyl floor all the way around. There is no carpet in this trailer uh, where you walk whatsoever. So um, at the back of the trailer here, folks, because it is a wide body design, you do get a wider couch. So it's nice if you like to lay down on the couch to watch your show right there, uh, you got a little more room to do it. So they still give you the end tables with USB connections, 110 plug right there. So they're going the extra step.
lots of storage up at the top there. And again, true to form for Grand Design, most comfortable seating position. This theater seating, folks, is heat, massage, and electric open and close. So really nice, easy to operate. Uh, what's nice about the inverter on this trailer, folks, is that if you are dry camping, um, if you don't have an inverter, a lot of trailers, if they have an electric open and closed theater seat, unless you have it plugged into a generator, you're not going to be able to run the theater seating. On this particular trailer with the batteries, the solar, the inverter, you can turn that inverter on and still electrically open and close your theater seating, which is nice. So we've got that figured out for you. And then again, your TCL Roku TV. That, that fireplace there, folks, is a 5000 BTU heater. Um, when you go up to the regular solitude, if it's the wide angle fireplace, that's a 10,000 BTU heater. So on this particular trailer, 5,000 BTUs on your uh, fireplace, and then you've got 35,000 BTUs on your furnace. So total combined simple math is 40,000 BTUs of heating capability. So, all right. And then you've got uh, Furion oven and range. They've done a nice job, some nice updates. Furion's done a great job challenging the appliance manufacturers in the industry on a regular solitude now you actually get the insignia residential inspired uh, gas uh, propane oven uh, which is gigantic this is a just one where area where on the s-class they're trying to save a little bit of extra money and you get a little pots and pans are underneath lots of storage so uh, the windows on this product folks i do option in the dual pane uh, window it's not a single pane be aware a lot most dealers out there do not order in their uh, solitudes and reflections and momentums and whatnot with dual pane windows we're doing it up here just for those people that do want to turn this into their house do some colder weather uh, camping you don't get a massive R value increase going to a dual pane window I will say that uh, you there is an increase it's not massive um, but what you do get is it's a much much quieter window um, which is really, really good if you know you're staying in it and you're parked by a, by a highway. There's a lot of people in the campground. It just makes the inside of the trailer a lot quieter. When you all your diesel pusher motorhomes folks produced, they're putting dual pane windows in the in the in the motorhomes. Why? Because you're traveling inside the motorhome. They do that to make it quieter. Okay. Um, the other thing with a dual pane window is when you're cooking, when you're living, uh, you're breathing, you're showering, uh, running your propane heat, which has moisture in it. Um, a dual pane window when it's cold outside will greatly reduce the amount of frost or condensation that we'll get building up on the inside of your trailer. So major, major benefit to a dual pane window. So I highly encourage you uh, get a trailer with that if you can on a, on a big trailer like this. Uh, but again, true to form for grand design folks, huge tall slide boxes, like your six foot eight on that slide box. Uh, from floor to ceiling which is nice with the wide body design folks they're not having to put storage in the tops of their slide outs uh, to give you storage okay giving you that wide body design gives you great big pantries and extra storage and those sorts of things um, but with grand design folks you get huge windows like look at the size of the windows absolutely monstrous how can they put a big window in a couple things one the structures in the sidewall to support a big window. We talk about lamination, very, very important. If you have too much flex in your slide box, big windows like this can cause issues. They frame in around all their window openings, super, super important. Um, but they're not afraid to spend the money. You know, um, a lot of manufacturers, they'll just simply put in a smaller window to save money. The other thing, almost every single window in this trailer opens. Okay, and I encourage you to walk around the products out there. If you're looking at a trailer, you're like, well, I can save a bunch of money going with this. There's a reason why, okay? And it's usually a whole bunch of little things. Windows are one of them, okay? There are only, I believe, two windows in this trailer that don't open, and that's the one in behind your oven and range. And then there'll be one up in the hallway um, right up there that doesn't open as well. Other than that, every single window opens. Okay, proper ventilation, awesome airflow. Um, opening window just costs a little bit more money. So Grand Design's not afraid to spend it. All right, uh, we're gonna jump up here. You got cool thing right in the steps. There's no carpet on the steps, but you got a spot to tuck your shoes up out of the way there. So you're not walking into shoe mountain. And then the other thing that you get folks is a coat closet. Super important, especially up here in Canada. We have jackets 
uh, even for summer camping because it can get cold at night. I mean, we've had it where it's August and uh, you see the little white stuff falling from the sky. So extra storage. There's your uh, convenience center. That's where you check your tanks, how full they are, your gen generator pre-prep switches there, your tank heaters, hot water heater switch, slide switches, awning, all of that. And then Grand Design, you'll find um, on all of their products, they put the breaker and fuse panel right at your front door. Okay, always, always at your front door. So if your slide outs are fully in um, and you pop a fuse, you can easily access it right here at your front door. It's not hidden in a cupboard someplace where the slide outs are attracted and you can't get to it. And we've seen that, believe me. Um, the other thing is you get the Lippert One control with this particular trailer as well. It's basically a brain uh, microprocessor essentially that will uh, operate a lot of the things inside the trailer. What's cool about it is you can download the One Control app to your cell phone. What's really neat about that, for example, is let's say you're, you are camping in a heavily wooded area um, and you can pair your cell phone to the trailer with this system and go outside and stand uh, beside your trailer while you're extending your slide outs. So if there's a tree that's getting really close and you're by yourself, um, you're not pushing the button, waiting, walking out the trailer, see if it's touching. You can literally be standing there operating your slide outs. But, you know, the devices that are attached to it will just click on that right now. So you've got your awning atta awnings attached to this system, your leveling system, your lighting, and your slides. So really nice system to, uh, to utilize. Motion sensor lighting right at your front door. So when you walk in, you have a nice light to, uh, to light up your steps there so you're not tripping and falling and that sort of thing. All right, the bedroom bathroom. I can't wait to show this to you. So 384 GK uh, was our number two bestseller next to the 310 GK for a number of years and they took it away and I was super disappointed as I mentioned earlier. But this is the only floor plan, I shouldn't say that, the 2930 and the 3550, um, you can get that, uh, a, a walk from your bedroom into your bathroom. Okay, a lot of them you literally have to walk out of your bedroom and go into your bathroom. Okay, but on this particular floor plan, folks, we'll go right in the bedroom. You have a king size bed, windows that open on either side of the bed, huge, huge bed, storage underneath. Okay, a lot of trailers, folks, with king size beds, they give you very little walk space around the bed. Okay, on this particular model, they give you a night table, beautiful night table with two drawers. Set up your alarm clock there or whatever you want. CPAP machine. Like, you can easily walk around this bed. Okay, you're not doing the, the tippy toe down the side of the bed with being that it's a king size bed. King bed standard on this floor plan. We can get it with a queen if you'd prefer. Um, your front closet is monstrous. It is pre-prepped if you wanted to put a combo washer dryer in or a, uh, not a stackable, but you could do a dryer on one side, washing machine on the other, all the plumbing is in here, right on this side. There's your plumbing. Okay, so you'd put your washing machine on this side, dryer vent would go on this side, they'd pour a hole through the wall for your dryer to go into, the doors would open this way, okay, or not, and you got a beautiful closet. Tons of hanging room, shelves for shoes, Huge, huge closet. You've got the mirror, dressing mirror, full length. I know a lot of the ladies like that. And then you've got the chest of drawers, six drawers there, TV above, nice big window. And then you can see the access to your bathroom as well. So I'm absolutely, I, I absolutely love this bedroom bathroom. It's one of the best ones going because of these nightstands and the ability to be able to walk easily into your bathroom. But look at this, huge amount of storage here for towels and bathroom accessories, so to speak. This has the Encore shower, so the shower floor sits a little lower than the main floor. It's got the skylight above, so you know, if you're six foot five, six foot six, you can fit in this shower and it's huge. Fully adjustable shower head. It's got some really nice detail to it. A couple of shelves in there. And then you've got, this is all on one slide from here all the way across. So lots of counter space. It is a smaller sink. So, I mean, if you really needed a bigger sink, we could put one in. It would just require some, some construction, but we could do it. Um, but what a lot of people feedback we're getting is a lot of ladies love the amount of counter space. 
And then you got the triple vanity right above. It's very well lit. So I'll just show that to you. It's a full length mirror there as well. And those doors on the mirror will slide closed in the middle and pin shut. Pocket door here, pocket door here, and uh, you're good to go. So you've heard me talk enough. My name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager here at Woody's RV World in, in uh, Leduc, Alberta. And uh, we'd love to invite you down to our, our dealership to check out the all new 3540 GK. This one's the Dash R. Uh, we can get it with a gas absorption fridge if you so choose. And uh, we'd love to, love to show it to you. A fantastic trailer, amazing storage, great floor plan, and uh, easy on the truck. And it's got all the features. If you want to go off grid, we can, we can get it done. Our goal is to come alongside you. We want to educate you on the RVs. That's why we do these big, deep videos. And uh, we want to uh, just do an awesome experience for you. So thanks for hanging in there with me. And uh, please reach out. Our phone number is 780-986-1234. We're at Leduc, which is 15 minutes south of Edmonton on the QE2. So thanks for your time. Be safe in the world. And uh, happy camping.